Hey, shalom, 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 shalom to the nation of Israel. First and foremost, before I get into my quick lesson, I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry. And the believers that scattered worldwide, that's in the faith and exalt in the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom. Uh, once again, man, just a quick lesson. Um, this message goes out to you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, and also to the Israelites, foreigners that scattered amongst the heathen nations, and that may look like the typical heathen of another nation. But if your bloodline goes back, to Negro, Latino, or Native American descent by the seed of your father, you are considered an Israelite as well. Shalom. So, so like I said, basically, I'm just going to get into a, a quick hitter, uh, touching on destruction of America, man. Okay, because no doubt, man, this place is going to be destroyed, man. America, Babylon the Great. As you can see, all the wickedness that's uh, being promoted and being pushed, okay, uh, through this system this corrupt system and majority of our people you israelites you all for it man okay but the lord have his prophets out here to give the warning uh uh, uh what's to come okay the time of jacob's trouble that we about to approach and ultimately lead up to the return of yahweh shai who the world calls christ and eventually at the end of all of it when it comes to this place this place is going to be destroyed, man, by thermonuclear missiles, man. And that's what I really want to touch on real quick, okay? And I'm going to start off with Amos chapter 9, verse 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. Uh, yeah, and that's going into America, okay? No doubt, in this time, this is that sinful kingdom, okay? The, the beacon of light when it comes to wickedness being pushed here on the earth, man. And it says, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Yeah, and that's what's going to happen to this place, man. This place is going to be ultimately destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. Okay, courtesy to, uh, to the third, third World War, World War Three, mainly by the hands of Russia. Okay, and these other nations as well. Okay, during the time of Yahweh shall return with the world called UFOs, which are the chariots, the angels. And Yahweh shall return as well to bring war and to bring fire as well to this place America. And this place is gonna to be totally destroyed by the missiles and the chariots bringing fire, man. Okay, as John the Revelator seen this place turn into a lake of fire. Okay, that's what it's going into. This place being destroyed by missiles and the chariots, okay? And it says, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, say the Lord. Yes, yeah, so the Lord said he's not gonna utterly, okay, the word utterly mean completely he's not going to completely destroy the house of jacob which the elect come in okay the 144,000 and the one third that's going to be beam up out of that the destruction that's here in america okay and worldwide where the lord is going to deliver the elect but especially here in america but this is where the main destruction is going to take place by those missiles and the lord bringing fire as well okay let me get that yeah, man, this place is through, man. And that's why us that's in the faith, our hope is to endure to the end and be hope that we be found in the good graces in the favor of Yahweh Bashmael Shai to contain salvation. Because majority of our people, man, they're going to be fueled to the fire, man. Okay, rightfully so. Because they have been, they been, having, they been, having, they have been warned, okay, about the coming destruction. We tell them about Jacob's trouble. Okay, we tell them about uh, uh, the, introduce, the introducing and the imp implementation of the MOTB, the Karama, the Micro. Okay, we tell them to, to, to repent, leave off from the ways of this world when it comes to these false gods, these idols that our people are into, these different sect of uh, religions. Okay, and turn back to your true inheritance, your true power. How about Shemin Shai? And us being Israelites, we come with the law, statute commandments but they don't want to take heed to that man and therefore they want to follow after the ways of Esau Edom the so-called white race 
and the rest of these heathens following these pagan customs, man. These heathenistic customs. And no doubt, man, this place is about to head for us. Dest destruction. All hell is about to break loose, man. Okay, let me get this. Because like I say, man, the Lord is coming back to bring on um, fire. Let me see. Is it on... Uh, here we go this is Isaiah chapter 66 verse um, 15 and it said for behold the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind yeah like I mentioned when Yahweh shall return he's come back with the chariots with the world called UFOs and he's coming back to bring fire okay and it says to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire for by fire and by his sword will the lord plead with all flesh yeah plead going to judge okay all the wicked here in america that reserved do that uh, for that time to be destroyed by that fire man by the chariots and the sword also represent the destruction that's going to come by the way of those missiles okay and it says in the slaying of the lord shall be many so there's going to be many Okay, only a few is going to be able to escape that destruction. And once again, that's the elect. The elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, let me get this. You know, just a quick hit. Um, this is Malachi chapter 4 verse 1. And it says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Okay, no missiles. Okay, the destruction of America by the missiles and Yahweh Shah and the chariots. And it says, and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And that's the these people here in America, man. Include two thirds of the wicked of the nation of Israel. Okay, and you can read about that in Zechariah chapter thirteen, verse eight. The two thirds of the nation of Israel are going to be cut off and they're going to perish. Okay, and by many ways of judgment and ultimately the main judgment. The missiles, okay, and the chairs bringing fire as well, okay. And we tell our people, give that stern warning not to take the MOTB, okay, because according to Revelation chapter 14, verse 9, those that take it, they're gonna get caught up into that hell fire, okay, or that destruction from the missiles and the chariots, okay. And it says, All that do wickedly shall be stubble, man. And it says, and, that, and, that, and, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, say the Lord of hosts. It shall leave them neither root nor branch. Yeah, going into the complete destruction of America. Okay, the root represent uh, uh, the foundation of this place. And the branch, okay, supposed to represent what? The prosperity. But when you have a shot, destroy this place with the missiles and the chariots, bring that fire, man. This place is going to be totally destroyed, man. The whole foundation and the prosperity of this place, man, all going to be wiped away in one hour, okay, according to biblical prophecy, okay? And you read Revelation chapter 18, okay, throughout the chapter, at the latter end, they tell you about what all going to be destroyed by that fire, man, okay? And included people, okay, men, women, and children, man, okay, of all these nations over here, once again, including two-thirds of the wicked of Israel, man. So this place is about to head for its destruction, man. And that's why you're seeing the talks of the Third World War, the threat of nuclear nuclear war. These missiles gathering together, testing their 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 their, their missiles when they come to the archery. Okay, they, um, uh, uh, they constantly building up nuclear weapons, and that's all for the purpose of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai having a prophecy set of the destruction of America. Okay. And, and that's what's going to end this place, man. Well, right before that, man, yeah, we come in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay, uh, uh, famine, pestilence, uh, uh, financial crash, uncivil unrest, all type of chaos in it. You know, chaos, anarchy that's going to take place, uproars of the people, et cetera, man. Judgment about to be pouring, pouring on America, okay? And it's going to be ended. By the way, a thermonuclear fire, and Yahweh Shai as well, bringing fire through the chariots, man. Okay, so this is just a quick uh, hit going into 
the Lord bringing judgment on this place, America, Babylon the Great, ultimately by the way of thermonuclear missiles. Okay? So till the next time, I'm going to give all praises unto you. How about Shemiah Washad, by Shem Rakakadash. Pray that lesson may edify. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers and the believers that scattered worldwide. The house of David, uh, Yahweh Shai is elect. Until next time, Shalom.